it's 5 a.m. Gran died in the night. Mum got the call a few hours ago. She's still crying. I just feel... Numb. I tried to go back to sleep, but as soon as I close my eyes, the thoughts keep circling back. We should have been there. Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Words Beyond the Page. Um, sorry it's a bit quiet there, it was definitely something very, very heartbreaking to um, jump into straight away so I didn't think it would be appropriate to say hello straight away. Um, but welcome and unfortunately this is not where I expected the story to go. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what where the story takes us and um, loss is always hard um, but let's see where the story goes. I drove to the hospital first thing in the morning. No one said much. It seemed to take forever. I've never seen a dead body before. It might be scary. But it's just grand. Right? Maybe I should have stayed at home. When we finally arrived, I wasn't so sure about being there at all. We went up the stairs to room 305. Gran's room. Mum gently put her hand on my back and asked me if I wanted to wait outside. I said, yes. And honestly, I wouldn't blame you, Izzy. It, it's a hard choice, it's not one that I would make, <laughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, want to make, um, but yeah, waiting outside is usually best. Hello again, journal. I'm sitting in the waiting room, just rows of plastic benches in a sea of blue linoleum, and it smells like Ben's bottom cream. A little doodling should distract me from 
this very place. That's cooling me. Dad had his arm around Mum as they came out of Grand's room. I have never seen her like this. Mums aren't supposed to cry. They're strong. They're meant to know what to do. Always. It doesn't always work like that, though. I guess losing your own mum makes you feel like a kid again. Some things... I mean, mums are very strong <laughs> world women, but they're not invincible. Nobody is. The drive home was a quiet one again. It's silly, but I keep thinking back to Gran's favourite vase, the one Grandad gave her. I was running in the house, even though Gran had told me not to. I still remember the noise of the vase smashing into little pieces. Gran was there in an instant. I waited for her to shout. She didn't. She just looked sad. And somehow, that was worse. Yeah, I understand that. I would, it is worse. Gran wouldn't let me pick up the pieces. She found every single one and carried them into the kitchen. Later I sneaked in with a tube of glue in hand. It was a mess. I got glue everywhere. I can imagine. But Gran smiled when she saw the vase. She put it in the cupboard. Later I found it again. When I asked her why she'd binned the vase, she smiled again. Gran always says... We can't hold on to things forever. Let them live in your memories. We can't hold on to things forever. Let them live in your memories. She said she preferred to keep the vase like she remembered it. Yeah, I can see that. I really don't get... I, I really don't think I get that. I just miss Gran. Maybe I hurt Gran's heart. Weakened it. Oh no. That can happen, can't it? Maybe this is all my fault. I should have listened to her. I shouldn't have run in the house. Now everything is broken. Heartache is a thing, but it is never your fault or anyone's fault. When someone is if sick... If I started my story sooner, Gran could have read it. It might have helped. I could... I could have fixed... I would have fixed her heart. 
Oh, you see, it's not that simple. Oh, I don't think it... the, a broken heart is what's caused her to pass away, hun. She got sick. Really? I don't even know how to fix my story. It's a mess. I left Grace to sink into cold, dark waters. She's completely alone. She left behind Lump, her only friend. Broke myself into a corner there. Should I be nicer to Grace? Okay. Focus, that was a bit me. How can I continue the story? How would she feel about this situation? How would I Grace feel? felt... Ambivalent? Lump had to stay so Grace could go on? No easy answers here. Justified, Lump chose to stay. Grace respects that. Guilty, Grace should have stopped Lump. Well, she did, but Lump didn't listen, so... I would say justified. Maybe ambivalent? Ambivalent? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a hard choice. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, we'll go for ambivalent. Ambivalent? Ambivalent. We're guessing somewhere. Now, let's see. <laughs> The merchants had been true to their offer. Still, the water closing over her felt like death. Cold and terrifying. I can breathe! This feels so... strange. I wish Lump could have been here. There was nothing I could have done. Was there? But there was no time to dwell on her lost friend. Grace had a dragon to find. Which way did it go? This one. All right, another branching tunnel. The walls were closing in. Down here, I guess. Far too narrow for winged beasts. Did I guess wrong? A dead end. Oh, I knew it! Wrong tunnel! No. There must be a way. Think, Grace, think! Ha! <sighs> How do I get up there? Is this the right way? Or maybe here? I just don't know. I wish I could ask Lump. But there was no Lump there. No annoying little Lump to complain. No charming lump to ask for advice, either. The submerged tunnels flared outwards, a tangled mess of caverns and hollows. Twisting and turning. Bending with almost malicious intent. to get out of here.
got to find the dragon. Get back the fireflies. Do this, Grace. No. She found herself amidst a great coral bed, shimmering with color and light. No! Focus! I have to find the dragon. No matter what. Beautiful and now... broken. It grows back, right? to find. I have to focus on that. No matter what. She spoke those words. But deep in her heart, a seed of chilling doubt took root. Color gave way to darkness, endless and all consuming. It's cold here, robbed of sight. The pressure of the deep water on her chest. Her thoughts had only one way to go inwards. What am I doing? I let Lump sacrifice herself for me. And for what? I don't even know where the dragon is, or where I am. I'm falling. I'm failing. Eldoraya. The village. Lump. All of them. Huh? What? this way can I oh there's a firefly it's always good to check I see why Robin not Robin Grace feels this way um I really do how it doesn't matter <sighs> she's like a reflection is the dragon no matter what Cold determination gripped her. Numbing all other thoughts. Press forward. Oh, shoot. Get to the dragon. No matter. No words there was just the way forward, barred by an indestructible metal door. No, I need to need to find the dragon. Grace could no longer ignore the seed of doubt. I have no I need to find it. 
the dragon. No matter what. No matter what. The Seekin seemed friendly. Hey, have you seen the dragon? Are you gonna be a new friend? Wait. Little Seekin? There's a lot of you. A host of them greeted her with curious chatter, warm and welcoming. Oh. Have you seen the dragon? Please. Oh. No. I feel so rude to do <laughs> to do that. I feel very rude to do that. Oh. Grace had no time for this. Let me through! I need to find the dragon. No matter what. The words felt hollow and meaningless. Freezing cold blanketed Grace. There was comfort in its numbing embrace. She wished she could stay. Snowing underwater did I do this? doesn't make much sense. She did this. Is this my fault? It was her fault. Their home. I. I just. Seekin, encased in ice. Oh no! What have I done? I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I never wanted this. This is horrible. think of me I'm so selfish yes do you have been quite selfish guilt dogged her every step did you It would not rest. It would not leave her. It would not cease. Leave me alone! Don't think it's that simple, sweetheart. Move. 
escape. Please. I didn't know. Knowing isn't always an excuse that can be The creature justified. looked at her as if it could see into her very soul. Under its stare, her fears crystallized like ice. She knew that she would... Eaten, be crushed, be disappear. Um, I did probably disappear. disappear. You'll make me disappear into nothingness. Would Grace embrace her guilt, or run from it? Um, so far she's running from it. Have to fight it. Can't let it get me. Must keep moving. And I think with that, we are going to leave this episode here. So, um, obviously, very unfortunately, Isis Grandma has passed away. It's certainly not where I was expecting this to go. Um, very, very sad. Um, and now she, now she's all alone and doesn't know where to go next or what to do so we'll see where this unfolds if you did like this episode please give it a like below and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more of lost words beyond the page or anything else on the channel um and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening wherever you are in the world watching this and uh, do take care everybody